WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. It's Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. We've got a bit of a mixed bag out here. The Dow just went slightly positive. And when I say slightly, I mean slightly. We're talking five points out there. Nonetheless, it's positive. The S&P is down 22, about six tenths percent. NASDAQ 100, one to three tenths or 165. Russell off uh, one to four tenths percent or 25 points. Gold's trading down eight bucks at 1734. Silver down 10 cents at 1913. Lights recruit off 80 pennies at 103.99. Natural gas up 43 cents, trading out at 646. Now, 30 year treasury is back one point and 25.30 seconds. 138.20 is the print. Let's go spend a little time and take a look at our index charts out here. If you give me a moment, we'll switch over to that screen. And uh, we'll begin by taking a look at the Dow Jones Industrial. Now, as this pops up on our screen, what you want to take notice is where is price trading in relationship to its oscillator and change line? So each of these have bottoming patterns. Most of them have buy the D point patterns out there. Um, what price should do in the case of the Dow, it's go target this evening star candle formation. That was from the trading session of June 28th. The high out there is 31,885. That's its target to the upside. If price is able to close above that, you'd have an A to B equals C D to the upside. As long as price remains above its red oscillator and change line, a further counter trend move should unfold. We have that same pattern inside of the S&P 500. It's dealing with the resistance from June 28th, and that level is 39,4586. In the case of the Russell 2000, the resistance level is the high from June 27th. That's at 12,17598. Again, all three of those prices trading above their red oscillator and change lines. In the case of the Russell 2000, the key level that it is trying to deal with is the high from June 28th. And that high out there is 1792.60. The semis, they are likely going to go target the uh, level from uh, June 28th as well. That's at 27.58. The Dow Transports, the Dow Transports, want to eventually make a move up to its June 28th swing point. That high out there is 13,773. That's what the indices are doing. So we've got just a, uh, I'm assuming here, I don't know why I would assume that, a light volume pullback um, based on the index ETF. So yeah, only 32 million shares so far in the spies. So I can't bust them down. Price is going to try to bust them to the upside over the course of the next couple of days. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next. Take care.